Hello everyone, I'm Mike and welcome to my new channel TI Calculator Programming. So before we begin with our first video, let me explain to you what I do here. I reviewed any TI calculators and some Casio calculators. I'll also show you how to program using TI Basic, which comes standard on all TI calculators that have the programming feature. Or if you have the TI84 Plus CE Python or the TI Inspire, I'll also show you how to program with Python. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, when you first order your TI-84 Plus CE calculator, whether you order it with Python or not, you'll, it'll give you the calculator with the protective cover. It'll give you the starting manual, which just gives you a little bit of information about the TI-84 Plus cal graphing calculator. And it'll give you the guide, which tells you everything and how to explore your calculator and all the functions inside it. It also comes shipped with a cable that will transfer programs from one TI-84 Plus C calculator to another TI-84 Plus family calculator. You can transfer between any TI-84 Plus family throughout the whole family. And I'm not sure if it works across other families like TI-89 or TI-83s, but I haven't tried it, but you could try it. And please tell me in the comments section below if that works for you. It also comes shipped with a charging cable. However, it doesn't come in with wall charger, so you'll either have to buy that separately or you can use an iPad charger. Just plug that in, it works perfectly fine for me. So, let's turn on a calculator. When you get this first shipped, it will it'll be in deep sleep mode, which means that you won't be able to just hit the on button and the calculator will turn on. You'll have to either hit the on button for four seconds or you'll either have to charge it to turn the screen on. So, new thing in TI-84 Plus CE Python calculators is when you hit program which is below the stat button hit program and normally it'll take you to the TI basic section however if with the TI-84 Plus CE Python you'll have the option to program with the Python app when you hit Python and hit enter it'll take you here which if you press F1 it'll hit run if you press window it'll hit ed edit the certain program that you're on you can create a new program by hitting zoom you can create you can go to the shell which runs your python programs by hitting trace or you can hit graph to manage or delete or rename any of these programs so let's exit out of that you can just hit second and mode which is quit and then hit graph for okay to exit out of the python app then you can go we're going to go to the apps right now and i'm going to show you all the apps on this calculator you can also get new apps from the TI download section. They're all for free. Most of them are for free, actually. And these ones, the ones that I'm showing you, all come preloaded with your calculator. I haven't downloaded any new ones. So, y'all, of course, on all TI-84 family calculators, you get the finance. With the TI-84 Plus CEs, you get Cabri Jr., which you can do all kinds of things like draw circles, perpendicular lines, anything. It, it'll, it'll do tons of things for you. You can also show the distance between things, you can find the area of different circles, all kinds of things. It'll take forever to go through the list of everything that it'll do. And it also gives you cell sheet, which you can reach you as obviously I mean you can just type in range, the data and it'll find range, it'll find all kinds of things for you. You can go to conics, which graphs ellipses, ellipses, circles, hyperbolas, and parabolas. I'm gonna hit quit on that one. And then I'm going to go down, you also have Easy Data and the TI Innovator Hub. You can also use the inequalities, which graphs inequalities, any kind of inequality for you. You also have the periodic table, which gives you the whole periodic table. And this calculator is approved for SAT, ACT, and AP tests, so you can use the periodic table on any of those tests. When you hit, if you scroll to an element, let's say we're going to take, for example, lithium. I'm going to hit Enter. It'll show you the atomic number. It's, which is 3, the symbol, which is Li. It'll show you the weight of the atom. It'll give you an AMU, of course. It'll give you neutrons, the number of protons, its notation. It'll also give you the radius of the atom. It'll give you the first ion. And it'll give you electronegativity, the density of lithium, melting point, boiling point, state, which at room temperature, lithium is a solid. It's oxidizing state and the year which it was discovered. So if you want to view the periodic table in table form, you can just hit trace after hitting enter on the specific element. If you want to view it in list form, you can hit zoom after you're in table mode and it'll just give it to you in list mode. Now let's go back to table, quit, 
go back to apps and scroll all the way down to number nine which is polynomial root finder and simultaneous equation solver so for the polynomial root finder it'll find the order which is the number of terms in your equation and Let's do 3 and let's do a plus bi, which is for complex and imaginary numbers. Auto, we're going to leave an auto mode, normal, float, and we're going to stay in degrees. So then you hit graph for next. If you need help, you could have hit the trace button and it will help you. So first you hit enter for coefficient for x cube in this case. And I'm going to just give you an x cube of 1 and then we'll do a plus sign and then let's do 4x squared plus 8x minus 9 and then you hit graph and it will solve it for you so as you can see it'll solve for x1 x2 and x3 as you can see you can it'll also give it to you in fraction form if that's available if they're irrational numbers it won't give it to you in fraction form you can also store these numbers and uh, if you wanted to do other calculations on the home screen let's say you entered in the coefficient wrong or you wanted to edit something you can hit zoom and you can go on and do your edits so we can go to y equals to go back to the main one main screen and we're going to show you the simultaneous equation solver this is a really cool feature if anyone ever gives you a system of equations and you don't want to plug it into a matrix because it will take far too much time or you just don't want to do it by pencil or paper and other methods you just, you just want to use a calculator you can use a simultaneous equation solver so for number of equations it'll give you up to 10 equations no less than two of course and how many unknowns do you have for this video I'm just going to use three equations three unknowns it's pretty common and we'll go with auto mode normal flow degree and then we'll go or degree and we'll go with next so let's say I'm going to solve this system to solve it I'm going to hit graph if I wanted to clear it I'll just hit zoom but I want to solve it and as you can see there it'll give you what x equals what y equals and what z equals if you want to convert them from fraction to decimal or from decimal to fraction you can hit graph again and it'll do that for you as you can see the x changed however the y and z didn't because they were irrational numbers so of course it won't give it to you in fraction form if you wanted to store these numbers you hit trace if you wanted to go back to the system you can hit zoom and you can edit again uh, if you wanted to change the mode to change the number of equations or number of unknowns you can hit window and if i wanted to quit i'll hit y equals it'll take me to the main one you also have the polynomial root finder help which kind of guide you through the process or the simultaneous equation software which also helps you you can just hit six to quit the app and you go back to the home screen so let's go over to the new feature on TI-84 plus CEs which is the Python app the ones that already come in pre-uploaded on this calculator are graph hello and linear regression so the thing with, with these three are linear regression just gives you linear regression and these the Heron's formula and the mean I've created on my own as you can see I do not have any other programs you can edit these and in future videos I will teach you how to program with Python if you ever are going to use Python for uh, programming by the TI-84 plus CE Python it is definitely worth it you can of course take any programs that you don't want stored on your calculator and store them on your computer using the TI Connect CE software which comes free you can download that I'll put a link in the description below and it also comes to TI.com hey everyone thank you for watching my review of the TI-84 plus CE Python I hope that helped you but if you have any other questions please feel free to put them in the comment section below and I will try to personally respond to every single one of you and help you to the best of my abilities if you ever want any more help on how to program on your TI-84 plus CEs or if you have a Python calculator you can watch my other videos on TI basic and TI Python and as always I'm Mike from TI calculator programming and I'll see you next time